What's up guys, this is Archnox. Today I have this amazing free-to-play friendly team which I'm using to auto solo kill Ice Expedition level 3. I am using Ram. This is going to be a guide to help you out with Ice Expedition 3 so you can deal more damage, maybe around 1 million or you might be able to even solo kill, you know, by yourself this uh, level 3 Ice Expedition boss so this team has a lot of strengths and let me talk about all that stuff ram first of all she deals crazy damage guys i've talked about it before but you know her skill one you've got attack break there and you have defense break on skill number three now you have helga rosied and lots helping her out so she can deal more damage now you have defense break from mercenary Helga, which is pretty reliable because you've got it on a two turn, uh, yeah, two turn defense break on skill one and on skill number two as well. You have attack break from not only Rosid and of course Ram. You have it as well on the skill one of Lot, and uh, you're gonna be able to consistently have attack break applied on the boss, which is in turn going to lower the damage of the boss tremendously. So. What's really important is that you get 85% effectiveness on at least Mercenary Helga, uh, Righteous Thief, Rosid, and Lot. So they can constantly apply their debuffs. Now for Ram, you don't need that much effectiveness. The thing is, at Triple S Memory Imprint, which you're going to be able to, to get it from the ReZero collaboration, you will have, uh, I believe it's like 27% effectiveness. Maybe you have some on her gear and Mercenary Helga actually gives you a buff that boosts your effectiveness by 60%. So that is really, really good right there. And you can see that throughout the battle, I got, you know, attack break, I got defense break applied against the boss. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, my gear, my stats, and uh, my skill ups at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that if you are curious about that stuff. If you're looking for an emulator to play Apex 7 on your computer, or you're looking for a new phone, check the description of the video. So, of course, the boss, the unfortunate thing is that he removes all your buffs from time to time, and uh, it's okay because the team is fast. You got, you know, combat units pushing from Rosid, you've got it from uh, lots, you know, on skill three for the whole team, on skill two for a single ally, and then you also have it sometimes uh, from Mercenary Helga. When she goes, she attacks she boosts the combat of uh, the hero with the highest attack in the team. It's not a 100% chance, but it definitely does help. And uh, you even have speed down debuff from Rosid, so you can get more, you know, attacks in, which is going to allow you to deal even higher damage. So you can see that uh, I'm constantly applying attack buff. I have it not only from the Silver Rain artifact, or the artifact on Rosid, which is giving attack buff to Ram, and Ram actually gets greater attack buff from her skill number three. So you can continuously like extend this greater attack buff with uh, the application of a tag buff. So that is really cool. And also, of course, Mercenary Helga, she's got team wide attack buff. So that helps you to have a higher uptime on the attack buff. It's crucial that you have a high uptime on it. And it is crucial that you land defense break as much as possible. As you might have noticed, the damage of Ram is completely insane you know with attack buff especially with great attack buff and defense break on the target she's doing so good and then sometimes you don't land defense break with uh, mercenary helga you always have the backup of you know the skill three of ram to help you out now it's really cool when lots actually pushes you know ram with the skill two it seems pretty consistent if you have ram at a lower level of uh, survivability and she's going to be the slower hero on your team so Lots is going to target her more often with the skill too. Now I got a trick up my sleeve and it's to have Prophetic Candlestick 3 star artifact on Lots because he gets attacked often and it will reduce his skill cooldowns by one turn. The skill 2 and the skill 3 cooldown by one turn when it does trigger 40% chance at you know plus 30. That is very very strong because he's able to use skill 3 and skill 2 more often because of that. And, uh, you know, the amount of turns that you're getting over the boss is ridiculous because you have speed buff the majority of the battle because of Rosid. And then you got combat units boosting from uh, multiple, uh, you know, heroes in the team. 
and uh, the combination of defense break and attack buff on the ram is just allowing you to just deal so much damage so i have dual attack memory imprint on my loss which is allowing me to maybe sometimes trigger a dual attack here and there and you can see my gear on him you know i have 83 percent effectiveness you want to aim for 85 percent effectiveness more than that is a waste because the boss has a hundred percent effect resistance and that's how you counter it now uh, you don't need that much speed on your lot since he's going to be in the front line taking more damage you want to balance his defense and his health it's important that you work on that so he doesn't go down you could be using falconer clary uh, in the front line with uh, lots with rosie the prime is that i don't like the uptime of defense break debuff with that team i prefer to have lots in the front but that's another team for you guys if you're struggling now rosie i have a lot of speed on him i have high effectiveness and you don't need more than 85% effectiveness. So I do have some damage from him. You know, he's at the 100% crit chance. For Earth, you only need 85% crit chance because you are at elemental advantage. So he does have, you know, 100% crit, some crit damage, some attack. So he deals, you know, a bit of damage extra. Mercenary Helga, she's actually able to deal quite a bit of damage. I have Memory Imprint, speed on her, speed on Rosita as well. You don't need that stuff, but every bit helps. And you can see she does have a lot of speed. You want to have... You know, like Rosie is going to be your fastest and then it's going to be like Mercenary Helga. Then it's going to be Green Lots and then it's going to be finally Ram. You want the right speed so your team is synchronized and you want Mercenary Helga to go first so she can actually get defense break applied on the boss and then Ram deals the big damage. Border Coin is great so you can deal, uh, you know, more damage. But more importantly, so you can cycle faster. That speed buff as you use skill three more often uh, is going to help you out to just keep ahead of uh, you know ram but you don't need it now ram you need skill ups on skill three and skill one so you deal maximum damage you don't need skill two uh the memory imprint is going to be cool when i get effectiveness uh, for the self imprint or you can have health percentage ram actually gets 30 percent more attack from her passive she has high base attack as well i'm using her on rage crit set with Kaladra artifacts so when there's a debuff i'm dealing a lot more damage i'm actually missing one crit chance have her on speed main stat boots so she can cycle faster and uh, sort of like follow the rest of the team synchronize if this video was helpful to you smash that like button and subscribe if you still haven't let us know what you guys think about ram and this team composition in the comment section let us know what you guys are running in ice expedition what type of score you are getting maybe you switch to this particular team and uh, your score got improved by a lot yeah let us know about all that in the comment section that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Ashonox. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.